at lulu.com, go ahead and create an account. Creating an account at Lulu is free. And once you've created your account, you get logged in. And this is where I am now. I have already signed into my account here and I will have all these tabs up here because I am signed in. From here, you simply go to create print books and start your print book. Now, please know that that whole process right there is likely going to change over time. So if it looks different for you, go find a button that starts off the process. And I'm sure it's, it won't be that difficult to find because Lulu really wants you to print with them. Now, once you get there, you might see a screen, something like this to choose what kind of product that you want to print. We want to create a print book, which is why this is already selected. And as we scroll down, we have a couple of options here. Do we want to print the book? This option means they print it, you buy it, they deliver it to you, and then you sell it on your own from there. So it's not exactly a full print-on-demand process. If you choose print your book, there are some pluses to doing this as well. So for example, if you want to do fulfillment yourself, or if you want to send your book to a fulfillment center, for example, maybe you want to do Amazon FBA, or you want to sell it as part of maybe a seminar or a webinar or some kind of event, you can do that too. Another option here is to publish your book through Lulu. And I will choose this option. There are very few print on demand, like true print on demand services for journals, workbooks, and planners. And Lulu is the only one I know who can make this as seamless as possible. And this will be under the publish your book option. Once you've selected that, you will see it's automatically selected two options for you, which is Lulu Bookstore and Global Distribution. I am going to uncheck Global Distribution and I'll explain why in a minute. I will accept Lulu Bookstore if I want to sell it directly through their website. So this is really great if you don't use WooCommerce or you don't use Shopify or any system that will connect directly with Lulu, but this is the simplest way without adding more technical stuff for you to manage. If you select only the Lulu bookstore, when you go through this process, you have a bookstore and you have a buy link, and then you can just drop your buy link onto your website or whatever landing page that you want to create. And I think that's the simplest and easiest way to do this. Another option is you can select Lulu Direct if you have Shopify or if you're using WooCommerce. I'm going to select both just to give me uh, more options. I said I'll explain why I did not select global distribution. The reason is because I want to print my workbook or my planner with coil bound options. And I cannot have global distribution if it is a coil bound product. That is really the biggest reason why I leave that unchecked. So we'll have these two checked. And then now I'll give it a project title. I'll select a language and I'll select a book category. At this time, I would say that it is a self-help or any kind in that area, personal growth right there. And then I'll click this to move on to the next step. On the next screen, I'll see the title that I just entered. I do not have a subtitle, so I will not add anything here. I also will not select an edition because this is my first edition and none of this actually applies right now, unless maybe I want to 
do something later, like large print edition. And these are great ideas, actually, to do large print student edition. These are actually great ideas that you can just look at this and maybe create the same workbook for these different kinds of audiences so you can sell more with just one title. I can also put an edition statement here if I want to, maybe like first edition or whatever that you want to do here. I'm not going to do that. Next thing it'll ask for contributors. If you have any co-authors, um, editors, illustrators that you want to credit for this, I'll just put my name and I will select author. In this example, I'm using a commercial use product, which means not all of this stuff is created or developed by, by me. So I, if I wanted to, I could add a contributor and I could maybe put, for example, cover design and artwork by, but this is completely up to you. We don't require you to do any of that, but of course, if you want to, well, we'll be happy that you've acknowledged us. I'm going to remove it for now. Next option is the copyright. We get a lot of questions about this because in our license, we do say that you cannot claim copyright. And what we mean by that, you can, of course, say that it's all rights reserved because that is true. But what you can't do with that is that you can't claim that you created the artwork. The main thing we're really looking for is that you can't pull out the artwork, say you made it and resell those artwork. And that's really the biggest thing that we're concerned about. We're not so concerned about the content. So feel free to put your name and the year in here. Is that optional to you? I would just leave it, especially if I'm unsure. Now, because we are not distributing our workbook with the global distribution option, then we do not need an ISBN. Now, of course, you can create this book with an ISBN and you can say, I have my own ISBN and you can purchase it and add it here at this point, because I don't intend to sell it through Amazon or any kind of bookstore. My own intention is simply to sell it on my website to my own clients and my own customers. So I don't need it and I'm okay with it. I'm going to proceed without ISBN. And then we're going to click design your book. 